welcome guys to my channel today we're gonna be doing stress analysis we're going to be using first principle so let's dive deep to understanding what is really happening in this small boy like boy of mine so let's jump guys straight to the problem let's start solving and rolling uh, let's do this mechanical shit easy okay um Today we are going to be solving uh, this problem. This is a stress system. So we are going to be solving uh, these principal stresses using the first principle or also the formulae. And uh, to mention we are going to be using three methods to solve this which is going to include the Mohs circles diagram. Of stress analysis so let's begin we're gonna start by drawing our problem uh, so our problem looks something like this this is the this is the problem this is the problem given that this acts at 40 degrees so we're given that the angle there it's 40 degrees which is the angle between that face this face this face up uh, I'm gonna call this or this stress I'm gonna call it uh, gonna be stress uh, it's on the face it's acting this face is a, is a face uh, this is X and it's acting on a stress and on a system that is a 3d so now this is an XZ so this is an XZ face which is the stress on the XZ face is given as 60 megapascals and also we're given that our shear stress on the this is our shear stress on the XZ face which is equal to 30 megapascals and we're given our compressive stress on the YZ face which is equal to 90 megapascals these are the these are the stresses that we are given this is b and this is a so let's first talk about this triangle which is as a as this uh, radius i mean radius rb yes so if you see this is the x face because the angle is measured between the x face and the radius so always know that the face that is a uh, is a uh, is, is included with the, uh, the the face that the angle is measured from is known is, is the x face you should know always this is our x face so from this face so so from this face so from this way so um as you can see now we have uh, taken this triangle this triangle out as you can see it is represented like this so this is uh, another way of solving this problem or we can do use the other angle which is i'm going to use very soon so we can use either this triangle so if you see these two angles are the alternating angles so these two angles are equal or you consider this angle but you're going to be working with the given angle to make things uh, easy at this step i don't want to complicate things or yeah let's just take it from from what you know so now we have our stress system like this so now we can use one of these angles but for as long as you see that the face that is an angle which is the x angle so this side is, is we know that whatever that is in this side is represented by cos so this side is a cos cos of theta which is stress whatever stress that we have there cos of theta and then on this face this is the sine face because it's a y so now whatever that we have here when we're looking for y we know y is cos to stress of sine whatever stress you can use a uh, direct or, or shear so stress of theta which is our theta we know it's 40 so whatever that is that side is written in, in terms of sine whatever is in this side is written in terms of cos so now i'm going to go ahead and draw um our uh, i just want to make sure that um when we're using this uh first principle you see how we can draw a first principle there's two ways to do this okay so i'm going to show you the first way on how we can do it okay okay i have also added these two so that uh, this is our shear and then this is our direct stress to theta also to theta so this is the same thing so we could do the same yeah we do the same okay so now we're gonna go ahead and throw this is our line a b this is our line a b we're drawing our line a b this is b remember that um, you can incline it at 40 this is 40 and then this is our a and then we're using we're using this we're using this triangle so now we're gonna make sure that our it's pointing in this direction and also our shear is also going in this direction so we're gonna say it's shear 40 okay because uh the, the angles are measured uh, we're gonna measure them clockwise so if we measure them clockwise i mean anti-clockwise so we're gonna say this is minus 40 so we're measuring in this direction so this becomes minus 40 so this is also to minus 40 these are the minus angles okay okay so now we're gonna start with the first one our 30 i'm gonna start with our 30 meter pascal which is it's gonna be 30 sine of 40 so we're gonna start with it here so our 30 is gonna be here i'm gonna assume it's going in this direction this is how if we extend it to the if we extend uh this line all the way you're gonna see that this one it's gonna go in this direction like that okay so this is what we are trying to do in this line so we're drawing them in that respect so we have it here so this is our 13 sine of 40 degrees né? okay so now we must complete it so we know it's going to be a head to tail 
or head to head or tail to tail so we're completing so these are the this this so this 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 force is the force that is completing this this is a this is the first so every force it has its components when it's applied it's an inclined you know so now this is the component of this one and then the other one is going to go in this direction which is now it's going to complete this this is a force system okay like this okay so this is it so we know that this one is 40 then this one to make it full it must be 30 i mean if it's 40 that one then to make it 90 we know that uh, this angle is going to be 50 so then it means that this one here this one here this one here it must be 40 okay this is 40 so by knowing that this one is 40 so now we already know that um because this angle is 40 it means this is our x so our x forget about that now we're going to focus on this one our x in this triangle is this one so x is given by what x is given by cos so now we're going to have 13 cos 40 times by what times by sine this is our hypotenuse for this thing in this in this problem so times by sine 40 then you might know what is going to happen on this side this side is given by what it's 30 this is a y is given by sine Remember, we still have this sign this side, so it's going to be sine 40. There's also sine this side, so it's going to be sine squared. Never. So we're trying to complete. This is the force, and then this is its components. Okay? Whatever that you write, you write it in terms of this component, of this force. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing also on the, on the other ones. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and do them, and then you're going to see. Okay, I hope you can follow. Okay, so now um, I'm done with these two, which is uh, these two. They are pointing in different directions, as you can see. This one is going down, the other one is going up. So now we're going to go to these direct stresses, which is, these are our direct stresses. Our direct stress is going to be 90, and um, also another shear is going to be 30. So now these ones are going in this direction. So if we can draw them or extend them, we're going to see that they are going to hit this line like this. And this one is also going to hit this line the same way like that one. So now we're going to go ahead and draw them in this plane. So now I, I like to start to... Uh, so these ones they're gonna be something like this. Let me start here. They're gonna be something like this. Remember, it's gonna hit the plane like this. This one. So I'm gonna say that one is our 90. This is our 90. So it's gonna be sine that side, remember? 90 sine. Sine 40. Okay. And then we go ahead and uh, draw. We're completing it now. Whatever you draw, it must be parallel with this line, okay? Okay, so it's diving out also because it's uh it's coming out from the shell, I mean from the force itself. Okay, so we're gonna carry on until um we know that um i'm gonna define this angle now this is this angle this is the 40 or 40 is here remember that these ones these two angles they, they these you know normals from mathematics these are called they're equal okay and then oh you can you can go in a sense of uh this angle remember this one and this and this angle yeah it's 40 so if you, you pretend as if there's that angle there it's 40 so this one to this one they're alternating and also they're alternating okay so they're equal and then you're gonna head i'm gonna go ahead and draw this one okay which is this one this 30 uh, because of my space please um okay don't mind this it's because of the space i have extended to the line so um we know that this one it's 30 this one is 30 cos 40 okay and we have about 40 here then because this is 40 then it means it's x this side so we're gonna have 30 cos squared 40 and then this side we're gonna have 90 cos 40 times sine 40 okay and then this side is gonna be 90 sine squared 40 and then this side is gonna be 30 sine 40 times cos 40 okay so this one this is how you do this so now it's complete here so you can add all the angles that are going to that shear stress which is our uh, the, 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 the thing that we're interested in so we're going to equate them to this so we're going to say it's theta like that and then all the stresses that are going to this direction of this principal stress so now we're going to equate them i mean we're going to add all of them so we see we have this one that one and this one and this one is going opposite direction so it's going to be negative okay so we're going to go ahead and have on um, 90 sine squared 40 City plus 30 cos 40 sine 40 okay so that and uh, this and this city plus 30 sine 40 cos oh sorry cos 40 okay so now we're gonna subtract this one which is minus 60 cos squared 40 okay so we have subtracted it there at the end and then we also equated the ones that are going to this direction of uh, shear stress so we said it's going we predicted it's going to that direction which is up so now we're going to have uh, the ones that are going to that direction it's going to be only one so which is this one so the direction is really supposed to be this direction but whatever okay so now we're going to choose okay we have this one okay which is the only one that is going to that direction so it is a uh, 30 i have 30 
stop sign so we have uh, managed to get our our stresses so these are our stresses now let's go ahead and prove this if it's correct oh guys almost forgot we could also represent these forces you see these forces we can also represent them in a dot in a dot form you know like this see this dot you're gonna have our cartesian plan and everything going through um okay i'm gonna first define this line a b the first line a b okay you see guys um in this direction we know that um this is our shear stress direction which is at an inclined at 40. remember we have this 40 here it is inclined at that 40 so we're gonna say it's 40 but it's minus 40 because we're doing anti-clockwise so also this one inclined at minus 40 okay so now think about this in this point we're gonna picture every force or every stress passing through this point okay so now we're gonna have our 90 going in this direction through this point going in this direction okay and we're gonna have our 30 megapascal also going through this direction remember and also other forces every force is gonna go through this direction i mean through this point okay guys on this problem we are using this triangle okay we're doing everything based on this triangle okay you're gonna notice that our our stress uh direct stress which is a uh, the stress that we're looking for is directed um, in this direction, okay? So I want you to take note of uh, we're doing everything based on this direction, okay? I mean, on this triangle, okay? So these are the forces, guys. I have to find all these forces now. Let me, let me, let me define them now, sorry. So this is going to be 30. It's acting at what? In the sign of 40, okay? And then this one going this direction is what? Is 60. Acting on what? On cos 40, okay? And then this one, I'm going to say it's this 30 megapascal. Acting on the cos 40 face. And then this other one is this 90, which is... 90 acting on the sign 40 side okay you see everything everything guys everything is defined you know so we're gonna go ahead and find our gonna find our reaction guys okay i mean our our these things the components I'm gonna find oh, i'm sorry about this direction there's another direction the actual direction is this direction that's the actual direction i'm sorry about that it's going that direction and this one is coming to this okay you see i hope you see I'm sorry about this let me raise this this is not this is the direction okay it's like this okay so now we're gonna go ahead in this one. Um, I would like to extend this line so that I'm gonna have a clean diagram as possible. I'm gonna extend this line. It doesn't matter, guys. It could go to this line or it could go join to this line. For as long as it's between the two lines, it cannot be any other lines. But it can only but be one or two. That's where you're gonna join your forces. I mean your stresses, which is your components. They must be directly joined to these lines. Okay. So this one is coming to this direction, that direction. Okay. You see now it's coming together. It looks beautiful. And then this one it closes here. Coming like this and in this direction, okay. Now let's extend and act as if this line is projected here so that we're gonna have a beautiful triangle there. So this line, this is where it's gonna end. This one is coming to this direction. That's it. This is the other way of the of um, defining your 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 triangle or your what it is the components, okay? So now you need to know your angles, you know. This is the very crucial part or critical part which is very important this is 40 and that one is 40. you can also see now we're going to see the relationships these two lines okay these two angles we call them core so this is 40 or alternating angles okay and this one also is going to be 40. Okay? so now you're going to see where the trick is in this one okay so you're going to see that these two lines also if I was joining them in this direction, they would be alternating, then it would mean this angle is equal to that angle if it was joined in that direction, okay? But it's not like we can do, we can still define these ones based on the what on what we have here, guys, okay? So this is how we're going to define this. So we know that um, these two, they cannot be equal, guys, okay? So uh, this one to be 90, you know what we need here, okay? For it to be 90, and then this one is 90, and then this angle and this angle are alternate angles okay you see that i hope you see that so whatever that you're gonna need here it must be equal to what we need there so if it, this is 50 this is 50 so it cannot be this and this one and this one cannot be equal so this one and this one they can be equal because after this we're gonna go back to this which is this is 50 some of the uh, angles of a triangle they must add to 180 so we're gonna go back to 40 so this is 40 guys so that's 40 okay when we're coming to this side okay so we're gonna say okay again it's the same story again also here yeah, it must be the same story uh, let me see. Let me see. It's best when we work in this in this side because it's easy to define that angle based on this angle. Okay. So now we're gonna say, if this is the case, now we want this side. So this angle and this angle. They're supposed to be equal, guys, because these lines they pass at 90 degrees. So whatever that happens, this should be called what happens there. Okay. Because this one it passes right through. Okay. Making that, making sure that everything is um uh, is is the same. It's a mirror line actually. It is a mirror line. So this line and that line is equal. Okay these angles okay so this is your 40 okay so this is what you have okay that's what you have that's what you have yeah, so now you're going to try to sum all of your forces in the respective direction and also defining which side is your x and defining which side is your y okay so this is the x this is the x this is the x these are the y's okay that's the x okay so you already know what is x x is cos y is something like sine okay so this is it guys this is it guys you can go ahead and work out those numbers there and then comment if you you, you are struggling okay
Thank you.